Well, hello, everybody. This is Dane Basham with Guild Mortgage, and I'm just so thankful and grateful to get my good friend Mike Zanata with HomeBot today to jump on to do a little training. I've been noticing as we're working with realtors across the nation that several of you still haven't heard of HomeBot. And so I thought, well, hey, let's get Mike on here and help to teach you what it's all about, what it's in for you, how it could help you double your business with a little bit less frustration. So Mike, thanks for taking time out. How's the weather treating you in Colorado today? More sunny days than Miami and Denver. So there you gotta go. love that. That's why it's so expensive to buy a house here. Um, yeah. Great weather. How's Tulsa? It's great. You know, it's funny is I was just on the phone with a buddy of mine that I started in the mortgage business back in Orange County, California, Mission Viejo. And his name's Mike. A lot of great guys out there named Mike, right? And he, he didn't know about HomeBot. It's like, what, what? You're in Colorado where? And you don't know about HomeBot? <laughs> Colorado Company. Come on, other Mike. Yeah, yeah, right. So, no, he's a great dude. So, I'll be getting him connected with you as well. His wife's a realtor out there. So, I said, you got you to gotta take advantage of this. But um, without further ado, I'm going to kind of let you tell us. I think you maybe have some slides to show us. For those that don't know about HomeBot, what do you got to show us, Mike? Yeah, you know, I like to start... Uh, I'm explaining HomeBot with this stat, uh, that by the time the average American retires, 83% of their retirement's coming from their home equity. And that uh, can shock some people, um, but it goes to HomeBot's kind of altruistic mission of we wanna help uh, homeowners and, and future homeowners make uh, sound financial decisions uh, and really ultimately connect them back to their experts, which are, you know, you, the, the, the loan officer or, or, or a real estate agent, right? Yes. Uh, and so Dan, our uh, CEO, his office I'm sitting in right now, yeah. uh, is actually a former real estate agent himself. And so he created HomeBot uh, because he was kind of frustrated with how he was staying engaged with his, his clients, right? You know, sending them happy birthday and pumpkin pie recipes. That's all good. But he wanted to really create a tool of value uh, that would help his homeowners uh, and clients in, in the same capacity. So that's where HomeBot uh, comes in. Um, and really what our CEO Ernie noticed is that, uh, and what the stats show, is if you leave, leave people to their own devices without the expert help, mm -hmm. you know, they leave money on the table every year. Yep. So that's where HomeBot comes in. If you haven't heard of it, if you haven't seen it, um, it's a monthly email that will be granted to you, it goes out to, every person, whether that's uh, someone you worked with in the past or just more prospect or your neighbor, every person that you put into your account every month and it's personalized to them, to their home or homes, or if they're a uh, renter now looking to buy to their home search. Okay. Um, and you can see, Dane, we call it a client for life portal because if you think about it, uh, this email, which people click into and go into, it, it really is a portal into access to answers from you, it's a private space that you're providing okay. every single month and it's dynamic in that report. You can click on it, you can um, change different options and settings. It's really like a tracker uh, for your home. And I mentioned this already, but the key is it's all connected to you. So okay. HomeBot can turn on that light bulb and get people to reach out. A little preview of what it looks like, but really, Dane, you know this, um, the reason it works, I mean, everything I said is all well and good, but it works because people get addicted to this information. They love looking at HomeBot. Our, our uh, global monthly click-through people going in is 50%. Um, yeah. And our unsubscribes under two. And if you look at what uh, like MailChimp, or, you know, the industry leader in email marketing, what they say the click-through is for uh, real estate industry emails, mm -hmm. they have it at 1.9%. I mean, I feel like crazy even like sharing 50% when MailChimp saying 1.9, but that's, I mean, that's what it is. I mean, so you can imagine people get addicted to this because it's fun to watch your, your wealth grow. It's fun to watch your home value go up, uh, to see what you, your refi options, to what buying an investment property might look like. Yes. Um, so people love it. Uh, and how does it help, you know, the day-to-day -day real estate agent? In a lot of the ways that I talked about it, it is that, that extremely high engagement. It's an easy monthly touch. I don't know if I said this word yet, Game, but it's automated. You know, there's nothing you need to do once the client's in the system, it goes out. Um, all that client behavior too, 
you can go in and monitor that. You can um, use that data that your, your clients are giving you uh, and see who's clicking on what, when, and how often. Uh, so you can, can arm you with a call list or you know, who to reach out to for that week. Uh, they might have not been proactive to reach out to you yet, but through HomeBot's uh, data analytics, you can see, wow, this person might be looking to sell right now. Um, I've said this, it's easy. You know, it can be sent, forget it. Uh, for those of you without a CRM right now or any sort of organization, a lot of the agents I work with really, they've taken to it because when they get their clients in the system, now they have a sense of organization and a, a place where all their clients live, you know, and that's easy to access for them. And then my last two bullet points, we want to spark those conversations, uh, whether it's them reaching out or you going to them and, and really at the end of the day, keep people in your sphere and not going out to those other sites where they could fill out a, a lead capture form and, and, and be sold off to someone advertising on that, on that site. Well, you, so brought, you brought up a key point there, I think, because, um, so I'm fourth generation in real estate and, uh, you know, the name of the game is building a database, nurturing the database. And, and then, so anytime I grew up on a Brangus cattle ranch and my granddad said, Hey, you know, there's a reason we got the fence here. We want to keep that around our, our, our cattle so we don't lose them. That's our livelihood. And it's, it's a lot like your, your customers, your buyers, your sellers. It's if we could just keep our arm, arm around them, love them, give them value. And, and so we stay top of mind as the realtor with our clients. This does such a much better job. And, and before um, I really got sold on it uh, to help our realtors and referral partners, I wanted to be a product of the product. So I said, put me on there so I can see as a homeowner and it's great. I, I actually love both sides for the buyers that haven't bought. Lots of great data, much more timely, much more thorough uh, when you're trying to get educated in the local area you're wanting to buy um, before you're ready. But then secondly, for the homeowner, even better is I, I, we're in that empty nester stage. And so as our kids are moving out, it's helping me to really time, kind of see what are we gonna, I thought about Airbnb. You guys give great data if I wanted to Airbnb my property um wife and i talked about that I, I think i could make more money but she didn't want the headache so she said no let's just let's plan on you know yeah. let's let's get ready what can we list it for our, you know net to seller so we can kind of start figuring out and we're running that through the mortgage company here um and then what's cool is is we take that data and i'm doing this with a friend of mine actually through rotary club right now helping him do the same thing they're getting ready to um, move up, get a bigger home with the pool. They're super excited. And uh, so this data has really helped them to really be more proactive in the process and understanding what their home is worth. But I said, hey, don't even let everybody know your home's getting ready to hit the market because you'll have people standing out the door. I don't know about where yeah. you live, but it's just a, it's like a feeding frenzy because the inventories are so low. I said, hey, let's, let's use the home bought data to go ahead and get everything figured out and uh, about what we can, you know, with your realtor there in your area that's listing the property. And then she's also helping them uh, purchase the other one. But it just, it works really good in that process with these move up buyers, which there's a lot of folks doing that. We're not sure what interest rates are gonna do. They may end up going up. I think that's what's gonna happen. I don't have a crystal ball, uh, but but that's, that's the trend. And so as rates are most likely gonna be keep going up here um, in the near future, uh, okay, let's time it right so we can max out our cash on this home and then move into the next one. So, and then of course, all right, we're going to put you back into the home bot on the new home so you can stay up to, up yeah. to speed on that one and multiple properties. So we've got rental properties, so we can put those in there. So that's kind of fun from an investor standpoint. Um, but but um, I love it. I think from a consumer standpoint, I look forward to the report that comes out once a month. Um, what else you got? What are some thoughts? Yeah, um, look, why don't we take a look at the re actual report and some of the stuff you were talking about? Yeah, hit it. Um, so this is a sample report uh, that I'm sending to myself. So maybe that's a little confusing, but sure, okay. pretend this is this is the real estate agent, right? Or this is you, or Dan, right. right? The you're branded at the top of the digest. The email comes from you. Yes. Um, for for the end user, for that homeowner or buyer. Nothing, you know, you get your own report, Dan. You know, there's nothing for you to download or sign up for or anything like that. So mm -hmm. it's really easy to access and you can yes. look at it on your phone and you'll see in your activity, people looking at HomeBot multiple times a month uh, to come in and track this. 
but just to highlight maybe some of the, the greatest hits in the digest, this, what we're, what I'm scrolling through now, it, it's all personalized to this person and their, what's going on with, with their home and, and their loan and their options. And you can, what I like about it is that it's not just a static report. This is all interactive. People can play with their options, you know, on this refi module, you know, what if I, I'm gonna raise my kids in this house, I'm gonna crank up my number of years in this house. What does that mean in savings and options? Uh, coming down here, you know, like you were talking about, I need to purchase, I wanna purchase a new home, I wanna purchase a bigger home. What would that look like? Mm -hmm. Going back to, you know, our, our messaging and our, and our mission to, to help people make smarter home finance decisions, we're gonna provide some ge very general education, but we're also gonna, to, gonna uh, give them an opportunity to connect to you. And that's really the key. These buttons, if I click on that, yeah. I just sent a message outbound to, to, my, to myself or my agent in this, uh, in this uh, example here. Um, and so there's, you can spend a ton of time in here and your, and your clients will. Dane, here's that Airbnb module you're talking about. Yep. Yep. You can play with this. This is based on zip code here. Yep. Uh, you said you thought about it, but it's not worth the headache, but this just turns on the light bulb for someone. Maybe they want to turn their current house into an Airbnb and move to another one. Right. Well, yeah, there's people out there that, that through the realtors that are using HomeBot to tell me, Hey, I've got somebody that's relocating to another market. We tied them into a property manager here locally that they like. They're moving out of state, taking a job at, down in, in Texas. So uh, as a result of that, they can keep this property as part of their retirement strategy to, to help offset, you know, that took them a little while to get in the game and start putting money away in their 401k. Um, plus they were helping some of their elderly family members, kind of in that sandwich generation, helping their kids in college, helping their parents that are needing some financial assistance. So it's become a great tool using HomeBot to really figure out how to maximize a property if you're gonna keep it, move to another market or keep it as a rental. I remember years ago, there's a great book out there by David Bach that talked about Automatic Millionaire. And that was one of the keys is having a second home or keeping up your first property as part of your financial scenario. And this helps you um, really be a part of that process and help think through it. So it's just a phenomenal tool with up-to-date data. Now, one thing I've noticed, and this is funny, so I was sitting with one of our loan officers and he said, you know, as we're looking in here, it's, it's, it's um, showing... It's really showcasing the realtor a lot more than me, the loan yeah. officer. I said, well, that's not by accident. That's by design. What do you have to say about that, Mike? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's right. So in the co-branded, co-sponsorship model, um, you're going to, as an agent, you're going to have your own account. You're going to load in your own clients. Um, and we're going to, in the, in the way that Digest looks out with the graphics, um, you're showing up at the top. The email's from you. You're showing up at the top, just like this photo you can see right here. You're showing up in every module. The only place where the loan officer makes sense, and this just makes sense with this comment, uh, or the only place where the loan officer shows up, and yeah. this does make sense with your friend's comment, yeah. is where it makes sense for that loan officer to show up. So, uh, for example, uh, refinance. Yes. Here you would show up in a team model. Yeah. You, you're the agent and, and your loan officer, branded as a team. Uh, and if someone did, one of your clients did say, hey, you know, refinancing based on what HomeBot is showing, this might make sense. I do want more information on that. If they clicked on one of these buttons to get more, more details, yeah. we're gonna notify you and your loan officer. You're never out of the loop with your clients, but, but you're, it's a good observation because um, the, the loan officer is a little buried in it. Yeah, and I like that. I like the fact that the loan officer is buried because it's it's all about us helping the realtor get more current client referrals, move up buyers, so they can continue to put more of their clients in here. I was just talking to a new realtor this morning, had 464 people in their phone, and they said they're looking for more people. I said, well, does everybody in your phone know that you're a realtor now? You could be plugging them into HomeBot and then once a month, set it and forget it. It's just going every month, making you look like a hero with all this up-to-date information that you didn't have to compile. And uh, it's, it's amazing. We make us look great. We appreciate everything. Anything you want to add as we kind of wrap up the little video here, Mike? This is Yeah, awesome. totally. Uh, just uh, some quick clo closing thoughts. This is just kind of the, the, the intro here. Um, 
Hobot is easy and getting your clients in, we'll, we'll make that easy for you. Um, you can send us a list of your clients and it doesn't have to be a clean list. They can have duplicates, they can have incomplete data or too much data. And our, we have a whole of data people that they go through your file, they QA it, goes through the whole process and they'll upload that list for you. That's so awesome. if you got a database, yeah, if you got a database of 500, just shoot that thing over, we'll clean it up for you and get those people in your account in a couple of days. That's what it's really uh, said and forget it. And Dane, I do want to hit on this in the digest because I think it's pretty cool for, for agents. Yeah. I'm in this market panel. Okay. I'm in this, uh, what's going on in my zip code over here? Taking a look, is it easier to sell, easier to buy? Quick side note, if you're into video, yeah. you can load videos in here, super cool. But it's really telling me what's going on. Uh, this is the condo. And this person has a good uh, selling signals. But our number one button here at HomeBot last year has been this button. Should I sell now? Mm. People clicking on that button asking their, their agent, is this a good time to sell? And if those are the kind of conversations you want to have, yeah. HomeBot's an, an amazing uh, tool. So I think it's, it's, it's pretty cool that that's our number one button. No, I'm, I'm glad you hit on that because I have uh, been getting feedback that, that when the client hits that, that, that creates a, an interaction between the realtor and the, and the prospective home seller. And that's what you want. That's what you guys have figured out is how to get them to engage and then create that, that come back to your realtor. Let's help you. Let's get the yep. CRM together. What do we need to do? Start getting the conversations going. So it didn't just fall on deaf ears. It actually helps to re-engage them when they're thinking about these life events that come up, maybe they need to help pay for college. Okay, well, let's see what the value is. Let's get you back to your uh, loan officer. Um, oh, you want to maybe sell and move up? We can look at all those scenarios and we're real good at that, you know, over here at the mortgage company, help them with that as well. So love to give them scenarios on that and, and teaming up with the realtor, but it, it always drives them back to the realtor first, which I love that. So you all have really been really brilliant in putting that together. And uh, thank yeah. you all so much. Anything else you want to hit on as we're wrapping up? No, I, that said, I, you know, everything I showed you was, oops, I hit the wrong thing, uh, client facing. Uh, but there's a whole dashboard for you. And there's a, a, a panel where you can uh, track your behavior, uh, your client's behavior and stuff like that. Super, get great insights like that. So uh, tip of the iceberg uh, here for HomeBot. Uh, but yeah, it, it, it can be a system that, even if you have a CRM, this can work alongside uh, your CRM. And I, I would wager uh, heavily that whatever you're sending out uh, through your CRM isn't getting the kind of click through and engagement that, that we're seeing uh, globally in HomeBot. So, well, just back to what you're saying there, I went through and saw some of the testimonials of, of um, realtors using it and they're loving it. And they spent thousands of dollars at other systems, but they're keeping their HomeBot. So I love that. Yeah, absolutely. And, and, uh, uh, Dan, one last thing. Um, a lot of times, I think the number one question I get from real estate agents is, well, where do you get your values? Because, you know, it can be, agents are the real value experts, right? Yes. And uh, HomeBot's an algorithm. So we get our values from a company called Black Knight Financial Services, which you may have heard of, but it's an algorithm. And it's not designed to replace the agent or say they know it's better but it's designed to be a conversation starter. And so in the digest, every client can tune their value up or down. Anytime someone does that, the agent gets notified. So you can be there in position to come in and say, hey, I see you tuned your value at HomeBot. Did you want to do a CMA? Should we set up a six month CMA or annual CMA, annual review, something like that. Um, and on the back end, uh, you're in control of every value in HomeBot. So maybe the ABM pulls in 450 on a home, but you, with your expertise and you know the market's going like this, it's 465, mm -hmm. you can make that adjustment on the fly. So um, basically it's designed to, to start good conversations for you and, and, and have values and put you and the client in control of values. So and I always just like to, to address that. And then, and then the data is portable. If I'm a realtor and I put my database in here, but for some reason I've, decide to make a move from a real estate company to B real estate company. This is my data. I can take this with me. It's portable, right? Yep. Absolutely. As long as you're paying for your own account, you own it. Right. And that goes with our data privacy stuff too. We don't 
Tomba is not in the data game. We don't market to anyone else. You own your data. You quit Homebot, you walk with it, you take it to your next company, you just rebrand your account and you can keep it, keep it going. So that's huge. That's key. Well, thank you so much, Mike. Uh, looking forward to our next get together. This was very insightful. I hope this will help a lot of the realtors that maybe are just kind of sticking their big toe in the pool and don't be shy. Just jump in. I would say just get an account with Homebot. We can help you with that. And either me or Mike, reach out to us. My cell phone's 918-812-3263. Again, 918-812-3263. And just text me. I'm getting a lot of those spam calls nowadays. If you text me, I'll help you out. And um, if I can't help you, we'll get you over to Mike. And uh, thank you all so much. Yeah. Thank you for having me, Dan.